So tell us about where you work. I work on Lincoln Street, about two buildings over from the old Hanneman Hospital. Now it's the Hanneman Surgery Center, mm -hmm. right across from the Norgren Funeral Home. Everyone sees it, and you'll see a little sign. There's a couple of other doctors that are there. And in their office, we have a number of wonderful staff. We have about eight or nine staff there. We also have three doctors, and it's, it's myself, uh, Dr. Neil Feldman. A lot of you uh, here that are watching this, if you're runners or triathletes, a lot of people in the city, pretty much he's the go-to guy for the athletes, triathletes. They all see him because he's done a number of Ironmans, and he's just amazing. He's amazing. And then we also have Dr. Lucius. He just started with us, and he's there as well. So there's three of us in the office, and we have just wonderful staff, and we're open pretty much every single day to treat people, except the weekends, mm -hmm. to treat people with foot problems. And people come in normally with their doctor. Their doctors refer them over. But something a lot of people don't know, in this day and age, you can see a specialist, and we can help you with the referral. So if you think you need to come and see someone, just give us a call, and we'll, we'll help you out with that referral. Well, that's, that's a comfort, too, because sometimes, you know, you know your own body, mm -hmm. you know, and you may say, you know, I, th I think I need to do this, and they could contact you and kind of give you the skinny exactly. of, what's, of what's happening, and you can kind of do some of the legwork for them. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a comfort in itself. It's good, especially in this day and age, because many people, like it or not, they delay. They have their foot problem. They tend to delay. You know, a lot of people, they come in, and they say, it's urgent. And I asked them, well, how urgent is it? How long has it been there? They said, well, it's been there for two months. Well, if it's been there for two months, a lot of times you don't want to go to your primary care doctor first, and then they're going to send you to a specialist anyway. So to save a trip, you can just come to the specialist. That's what a lot of people are doing, especially if it's regarding a foot problem. Okay? What are the most common things, uh, for instance, in uh, someone who's a little bit older mm -hmm. in age? What, what are the most common things that... The, that you find that you see and that you treat, and how do you treat it? Yeah, one of the most common things that people come in for are they have kind of a yellowing or a thickening of their toenails. And they're usually embarrassed about it, and they've usually had it for a number of years, and they think it'll just go away by itself. Now, just so you know, when you get older, not everyone has thickened toenails. You don't have to have thickened toenails just because you're older. But there's a problem that can happen. There, there's a, a type of a fungus that can invade the toenail, mm -hmm. and it can make it thickened, yellow, discolored. Sometimes there's even an odor to it. And it usually doesn't, you don't just wake up with it. It's not, oh, you don't okay. just wake up and all my toenails are thickened. It usually starts on a little edge of the toenail, and then it creeps over and then affects the other ones, and eventually you wake up and all your toenails are thickened. That's pretty scary, actually, <laughs> if you think about it. <laughs> it is. It is. It's, in a lot of the older people, they, they think it's just normal. Usually the ones I see are the, are the younger ones that come in, and, and the women especially, they're just distraught. They, what can I do? I've tried all these different chemicals. Nothing's worked. I yeah, went to the over-the-counter stuff and tried different things and tried this ointment and that ointment, saw that commercial, this commercial, and mm -hmm. what do I do? We were talking about that earlier off camera. You know, what, it, what is that actually diagnosed as? What is it called? So the technical term usually is onychomycosis, mm -hmm. or it's just a fungal infection in the toenail. But you know what? Not everyone with thickened toenails has a fungus. So you have to do something. You have to actually take a nail sample mm -hmm. and send it off to a, a lab where they, they try to grow it in a Petri dish yeah. to see if it's a fungus or not. How can you treat your, your fungal toenail if you don't really know it's a fungus? Well, that's true. Then you'd be buying all that stuff for nothing. Exactly. Because it wouldn't be doing anything. And how many people do that? How many people, they go to the, one that's of the pharmacies? That's true, because you, know, you don't really think about, again, it's like you don't really think about your feet. Mm -hmm. And they go to the pharmacy and they buy all this stuff Whereas if they come and see a specialist, they can save a lot of the hassle. And the hassle isn't so much the 20 or $30 you're paying for it, but it's every single day putting it on, being frustrated, being embarrassed when you go to the beach, being embarrassed when you're wearing the flip-flops. And, and even that, but not understanding the course of how, mm -hmm. how you would get rid of it and how long it takes. Because from what exactly. I've heard, it, it just doesn't go away. It's a process that has mm -hmm. to be done. So could you just quickly explain what someone might go through? They would have to get a cream. They could okay. take a pill. You have, a, like, new technology with mm -hmm. lasers. How does that work? Exactly. No matter how you treat it, it's going to take about nine months for it to get better. If you use any of these three methods I'm going to talk about, there's no quick way okay. to treat it. Okay. You can hide it with nail polish, but there's no quick way of treating it. Okay, so you can hide it with nail polish while you're treating it. A, well, with, with two of the types. Okay. Okay, so the first one is by using a topical medication on there. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lot of people say they use Vicks, they use tea tree oil. There's a, a lot of these magic potions you can find online. And I always say, if you look online and there's hundreds of treatments for it, 
it's because none of them really work. None of them really work. If there was one, I would carry that in my office and that one would work. If you're going to use a topical treatment, the only thing I would ask is get one that has a money back guarantee. Because if it's, if it's good, it's going to have a money back guarantee. If it doesn't work, you can get your money back. That's all I would say with the topical. The only bad thing about the topical is you can't paint your toenails while you're treating it. Oh, okay. So if it's summertime, you can't put the topical in the nail polish because you're putting it on every single day. Okay. There are certain nail polishes that have antifungals. They have an antifungal medication in it. Now the antifungal works about, the topicals work about 20% of the time. Okay. The other two that work about 80% of the time are either a pill that you take. It's mm -hmm. called terbenafin is the generic name. It used to be called Lamisil. It used to cost $600, but now it's generic. It only costs $10. Thank heavens for that. Okay. Very, very inexpensive. I'll go through this for reasons people may not want to do that. And then the latest and greatest is this fungal laser. Okay. So the two, two other treatments, you can paint your nails. Mm -hmm. You can do whatever you want with them. It still takes six to nine months with either of these. Yeah. The oral pills, you take one pill a day for three months. Yeah. The only drawback, you might want to talk to your primary care doctor because this medication, like all medications, usually are processed in the by the liver mm -hmm. or by the kidney. Okay. This one is processed by the liver. So you have to do a blood test prior to make sure your liver is working okay. Yeah. If it's not or if you have concerns, you probably don't want to do that treatment. A lot of the younger patients put them on it. I put it on people pretty much every day or every week mm -hmm. for that oral medicine. Really easy to do. Yeah. If you can't do that, then the other treatment is the laser. The laser works the same way as when you have a cold, for example. If you get a, a virus, a cold, what happens to your body? You start shivering and shaking. It heats up the body to a certain temperature, and then it kills the, the virus in your body. The same thing with the laser. The laser itself doesn't kill it. It's the heat that uh, kills it. That, so it kind of burns off it, burns mm -hmm. it off, and then the new toenail starts to grow. So that also takes time for that to happen. Six to nine it? months. Six so you take months. the nail, you heat it up to over 100 degrees. Mm -hmm. That heat kills the fungus, and then as it grows out, it'll grow out normal. Oh, that's great. And, and that is uh, Central Massachusetts Podiatry, Podiatry. at okay. 299 Lincoln Street. And Worcester. Um, and again, you said there were three, there were three doctors mm -hmm. that worked there. Dr. Neil Feldman. Dr. Damien Lucius and myself. So if, if any of your listeners have questions, they can certainly email me and I'll leave my email for them. They can just shoot a question over. That's the nice thing nowadays yeah. is you don't, if you're too busy, if you can't make it in, or if you're wondering, well, should I go see someone? Just send me an email. I'd be happy to answer. Yeah. Which is nice. I mean, because a lot of people check, they, they Google things or they check like maybe WebMD or other things, but you know, here, which is which can be good sources depending on where you go mm -hmm. you know but here they can actually talk to someone that's local and I always support local you know and and get some answers get some answers to their questions directly exactly from someone who's working in that field and I think that that makes a difference yes all right thank you so much for coming thank on. you Ramona I am Ramona and you've been watching Ramona interviews have a wonderful week